Joining us now, Rob Adelet from Niagara Kung Fu Academy. Rob, welcome. Thank you, Mike. Thanks very much, uh, very much for having me. The pandemic obviously putting a cramp into a lot of uh, what you can offer at the Niagara Kung Fu Academy. Um, how did you deal with the students not being able to come to the academy? Well, a big part of what we teach, Mike, when we, we teach our kids, um, you know, confidence, uh, to develop their confidence and a lot of other values that go along with their journey all the way up to, you know, turning their black belt one day. And one of those is adaptability and perseverance. So that was kind of the, the underlying message there and that we have to do the best we can with what we've got. Lucky for us, this kind of came along at a time where the technology supports us to do more than we, you know, we would have been able to do uh, 10 or 20 years ago. So it's, uh, we all know that this is not, not the ideal situation, but the students are carrying that message and definitely being adaptive and uh, persevering through this to keep their training going. And are you delivering some training online? Oh yeah, all of our classes now are online, and actually we're teaching more now than we were we were before. Uh, now that we don't have that geographical barrier, people don't have to get here, they just gotta walk over to the living room and, and turn the computer or tablet or cell phone on, and they have access to the instructors live. So we're teaching live classes uh, every day. Now, take me through one of those live classes. How does it work? We try to model it as close to a regular live class as we can. When we first started, we, we tried to complicate it in a lot of different ways, and we just said, let's just go with what works. So we start with a warm-up. Um, we do a little bit of a workout, and then we teach various martial arts techniques. And that's always mixed in with some kind of match chat, which is a message for the day, whether the message be about the importance of confidence or discipline at home or self-discipline, helping out mom and dad with chores while they're home. Uh, that's always, um, you know, mixed in between every message that's uh, in between the, the physical techniques and things like that. And is the instructor using Zoom so you can see multiple people on the screen at a time? So we've been really lucky with having a couple students. Uh, we're very grateful to our students. They've been they've been awesome this whole process, and a couple of them have donated some really large, uh, you know, old LCD TVs they weren't using anymore, and they're quite they're usually about sixty inches. So we have two of those moving, uh, two of those in the main hall, so the instructors are able to see all of our students at one time and give really good feedback on on what's working for them, what they're doing right, and what they need a little more help with. You need to be able to deliver that feedback to make sure that this isn't just a keep busy kind of thing that they're actually learning. So we have had some students try, uh, you know, some trials where we had pre-recorded classes and we find that the students weren't getting the most out of it at all. And and teaching martial arts is so much more than just learning the moves. It's that relationship you develop between the instructor and the student. Um, and, you know, developing that really helps and they have to be that example for the student. They have to show that, you know, they also have good confidence and discipline in front of the camera so the student can be a reflection of that. Rob, a lot of what you talk about is positivity and uh, self-confidence. Speaking of positivity, were there any sort of selling messages that you had to get to to make sure that people were buying into the online version of your classes? Was it a hard sell to some people? Did you lose some students? The message that we, we explained to everyone when we we have our students enroll in our program. We explain to them that our long-term goal for all of our students is to get them to be a black belt one day. And that's going to be a, a difficult road. It's not going to be easy. There's going to be challenges that come at you, and they're going to come at you sideways. It might not just be the, you know, the amount of fitness you have to do, but it's going to be things that come up in a way you didn't see. And this is a perfect example of that. So, you know, at the end of your, your journey to black belt, you're going to have the results or you're going to have the story of why you couldn't achieve it. And for some people, unfortunately, this might be that story. But for our, our students who really want to, um, you know, embrace what we're teaching, they're, uh, they're going for that result and they're adapting along the way. How important is it for young people especially to stay active during this time that they're stuck at home for the most part? Well, it's hugely important now. We know as adults that if we're only at a computer all day, and, and, uh, and we're not really moving, that stress builds up on the body. And we have to get exercise to be able to, you know, to shake that stress off. Otherwise, it's going to accumulate more and more. And it's the same for kids. If they're at home all day and now that they've started their, you know, their, uh, their schoolwork now uh, with the board, they're spending a lot more time sitting down. And if they don't get up and move, that stress is going to accumulate just like it would for adults.
Moving forward, is this something that would be folded into your regular routine here now at Niagara Kung Fu Academy? Yeah, I think when something like this happens, there's there's always, you know, there's always a positive mixed into, into all that, right? And it gives us an opportunity to grow and, and use skills that we never knew we had because we never needed to. And now this has taught the instructors a lot about how we communicate. So I don't think it'll ever go back to the way it was. I think there's a, there's a lot of new skills learned and different ways of communicating that will definitely be holding on to and implementing going forward in the future. Thanks for joining us today. That's Rob Adelet from the Niagara Kung Fu Academy. We'll be back with more on the COVID-19 Niagara update on The Source in just a moment.